Hi, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Design tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use the Artistic Text tool, right after this. Okay, so right now I have this picture of a frame and some text in here and an arrow. I'd like you to please look in the description to download this frame so you can work along with me and then there's also going to be links in the description for these fonts if you haven't already downloaded these fonts. So we're going to be going over how to use the artistic text tool. To get to the artistic text tool just click T. The, the keyboard shortcut is T. So um, and then if you click T again it will go to the frame text tool. So I'm going to click T again, so it'll go back to the A. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to create this same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the text here. So do you recreate the text? You um, drag with your artistic text tool. And I'm going to type love up here. Okay, to reposition that, you can uh, you can come up here and select on your move tool. So I'm gonna reposition this, and a good way to get it in the middle is to um, click this align horizontally center, and then I'll get it in the middle for you. To change the font, you go up to this um, pop down menu thing, and then you can choose whichever ones uh, you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, this font called Lauren and I'll uh, resize that and to make it stay with its size you pull from the corner I'm gonna go ahead make it a little bit bigger and make it in center and then I'm going to also create uh, the bottom Okay, so I'm going to click on the artistic text tool and drag again. And it will come up with the font you uh, most recently used. I'm just going to go ahead and type anyways. And then I'm going to go ahead and reposition it with the move tool. The move tool is very helpful for repositioning text and you can also resize it by dragging and you can rotate it here at the top right here I think you can rotate it here too if you want and then I'm going to go up here and select the, a different font and go ahead and reposition that and bring it up just a little bit Okay, so that's how you just create basic text. And um, also, there's different ways you can create the different text. You can create it on a path. So if you want the text to um, curve and make it an uh, arch, like if I want this love to make an arch down like this, then you need to click on your pen tool. This pen tool is really great for making lines or making objects that um, you can't make normally with the, the normal shape tools. So um, create just a basic line. Click on the node tool. The node tool is good for readjusting your line segments or anything that has nodes on it. You, you can even readjust text as I'll show you on uh, later in this tutorial. So after I've dragged this line out quite a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and um, uncheck love up here so get that out of our way then we're going to go ahead and click on the artistic text tool again and go up here until um, your icon turns into a T with a little squiggly mark under it you drag the same way you would Oops. 
drag the same way you would for just normal text or you can click if you just want it to uh, be the normal size and then I'm going to type love and then I can go ahead and make this the size of the font a little bit bigger up here by selecting one of um, the presets that they have here I think that'll be a good enough size or if you want your custom size you can type it in here you can go with 99 and so I'm going to reposition this real quick. So you can sort of mess around with um, that and you can um, create text on paths. Now I'm going to go over how to convert your text to curves and go in and make it a little bit more detailed. So what you do is you select your text with your move tool. or over here in the layers panel and then we're going to come up here to layer come down here to convert to curves and the shortcut key is command return so um, I'm going to hit command return and it will convert it to curves now I'm going to click on my node tool so that I can adjust it so I'm going to zoom up here and this R has been annoying me a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and fix that up a bit okay now I've fixed my R I'm going to go ahead and round out the edges of all this so I'm going to double click on never fails and it also turns it into a group and you can rename the group so you know what it is never fails so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of these so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna also show you one more thing a uh, few more things with the text uh, artistic text tool so up here you can click on different options. So here you can click on fonts. Obviously, I already showed that, showed that to you. And here you can click on this to look at different presets they have. Here it shows you if the font has any variations to that font. So I'm going to go ahead and go click on this different tab here, and I'm going to you get click on the artistic text tool and I'm going to type a a and I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm going to click here and it will drop down with a bunch of different options so there's bold italic bold narrow regular and then italic so you can click fr from these options if you want and not each of the fonts has this um, you can find out if they have it by clicking here this one is only regular most fonts you download don't have it unless they're like unless you buy them or something this one just regular so um, that's something else and then usually there's also different um, there's also different um, also there's different uh, settings here you can click B for bold italicized or underlined instead of clicking here and finding out but if they don't have it then it won't be highlighted then there's different um, character styles that you can click on um, emphasis strong strong emphasis but only again it only is 
um, there for certain certain texts text styles and then there is um, text styles for this it's presets body heading one and then heading two so it makes it different sizes accordingly so over here you can justify it left you can justify it center and um, everything uh, you want here that you would expect and then here I'm going to go back to my other example I'm going to click on the love text up here and here it will show me baseline so I can change the baseline up or down so with the, without even having to move the actual object, object again around this thing also turns it upside down or um, inside out or upside down or whatever and then there will be a little button here if you want to go to the character panel instead of having to go up here to view and coming down here to studio and clicking on character character if it's not already up here so then there's also another arrow and you can click on paragraph and it'll pop up with paragraph or you can do fill and change the fill here another way to ch change the color is by selecting your colors panel and I have that a, that a tutorial about that and it should pop up in a little card up to on the top right and so I have a uh, so this is the color panel you can change the color by selecting on the object and make sure you're selected on the fill, not the outline. So then you can change it however you want. But for now, I want it on black, so I'm going to keep it on black. And also, another thing, you can change the noise. There's more noise in that. So I hope you benefited from this tutorial. Also, if you haven't liked my video yet, please like it and if you haven't subscribed yet, I would recommend subscribing. I, I try to put out videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So uh, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.